Hang on YouTube, welcome everybody back to another video. So Leicester City's Niacho, I believe it is pronounced, so I'm not too sure, has won the player of a month. So today this is going to be a little bit of an SPC review. And I can't lie boys, I was going to complete him and do a player review. But I mean, I've had a look at his squads and for me, I, I don't know, it's, for me it's just not really worth it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to explain why I don't think it's worth it. And compare him to some other Premier League strikers that I reckon would be better alternatives. Remember, boys, as well, if you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. So, 86 rated, 6 foot 1, medium, medium work crates, which medium, medium work crates isn't amazing. He's left footed with a three star weak foot. We have had three star weak foot cards, for example, Podolski, who I'm currently using in my current squad, and he's not bad whatsoever. Three star weak foot this year is not as important as it was last year. The four star skill moves is very nice. He's very fast. He's got some excellent shooting considering he is an 86. His passing is absolutely fine then you go over to his 81 balance 81 balance 81 composure six foot one medium medium work rates 82 stamina as well is not amazing especially considering the point we are in the game he's got the finish shot trait which is good though so i saw the squad and i was expecting an 83 or an 84 rated squad, just one. I click on it and see three segments. An 80 rated squad, this will not be too expensive. This will roughly be around 10,000 coins. An 83 rated squad with a Leicester player, which this will be around, I'm probably guessing around 40,000 coins. And an 85 rated with a team of the week and Premier League player, which this will be probably around 100,000, even more. So this is coming in around 150 to 200,000 coins. And personally, boys, I just do not think he is worth it for this point of the game. What we're going to do is I'm going to compare him to some other strikers and their price, and especially comparing him to, say, 88 Gundogan. I know his stats are much better than Gundogan. He's much more, quote-unquote, messy than Gundogan. But Gundogan was an 80-rated and an 83-rated squad for an 88. This is an 83, uh, an 85, and an 80 for an 86-rated card. And then you, you'd think, I mean, I mean, he's usable. Gundogan's maybe not as usable. Still, though, at this point of the game, I don't think it's great. So I'm going to compare him to some other strikers and show you guys what I'm talking about. So if you have a look at Premier League strikers, you've obviously got Vardy, Mane, uh, Rule Breakers, Kane, or Damiang. They're all 1 to 2 million coins. But then you have a look, and there's a Giroud card, which was free if you did complete him. I know he's an objective, and I know he's a completely different player. But if I had to choose, I would choose a free Giroud, 90 rated over a 200,000 coin 86 Nacho. Um, I know he was a Cavani. Vani SBC, but to, to put him into context, uh, there's a first informer Bamiang who's around 150,000, 200,000 coins. I would say this card is better than Inacho. Let me actually just have a look at how much uh, normal informer Bamiang is because. Even the first inform, I would say he is a lot better than this new player of the month. So his first inform, his 88 rated inform, is currently, I believe he's a couple hundred K. He's 300 K, okay, so he's been out of packs. So he's 300 K, he's 89, and so 300 K, he's roughly 100,000 coins more than this Inacio. But he's tradable, and he's better work rates, better weak foot. Um, obviously, his balance is worse. So on the ball, dribbling is worse, but his pace is better. His shooting's basically the same, but the finishing and positioning's much better. Better. His passing's a little bit worse, um, but he's got like a lot more traits. I'll say they're very similar cards, but I'd definitely rather pay an extra hundred thousand for Aubameyang, especially because he is tradable. Uh, for example, I think there is some more. I believe he was another player of the month not long ago as a striker. No, not a striker. Never mind. Um, there's a Zaha, which I know he's quite expensive. His Connolly is just an awful card to be honest. Ones to watch. Werner is around two hundred k, I believe. Uh, Inform Zaha. How much is normal Inform Zaha? What I'm trying to say, boys, is he's so much cards of that I'd much rather have than this card. Inform Zaha is only 120,000 coins. Much better dribbling, better pace, much worse shooting, and uh, worse physical. I mean, and worse uh, passing, sorry. So I'd probably say Zaha is more meta. Also, he is five star, he's got the five star skill moves. So I would much rather normal Zaha for 100,000 coins cheaper than player of the month in Nachi, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, for 200,000 coins worth of untradeables. First in form Zaha as well is uh, 80,000, which is just ridiculous. So if you compare him to other players, he's just not worth it at all. I mean, like looking at it, obviously his shooting's better than Zaha's. Uh, Zaha's dribbling is much better, especially the dribbling stats that matter. And the Archo has got for 85 strength. Um, Zaha's stamina does lead him down a little bit but just in comparison i do not think this spc is worth it so like i said i was going to do a review but 
I'm going to save my fodder and not complete him whatsoever. I thought I'd make a video on why he is not worth it, boys. And let me know down below what you guys think. Personally, I think it's a little bit underwhelming. Man of the match, Jesus as well. I probably wouldn't say is as good, but I'm guessing he'll be a lot cheaper. So man of the match, Jesus, 85 rated, is... He's probably quite cheap, isn't he? He is 200,000 coins. I'll probably say this is a brilliant, brilliant comparison because um, four-star, three-star... I'll probably say Inacio is better than Jesus. When you think about it, though, chuck a hunter on Man of the Match Jesus, and honestly, they'll probably do the same job, and that's a problem. We are literally in April. We do not want a striker to compare, to even be comparable to a Man of the Match 85 Jesus at this point of the game. I, like, this card would be fun. Like, yes, he deserved it in real life. I don't know why they couldn't have just made it even just an 84-rated squad. I mean, you've got an 86-rated card. You can have some fun with. Personally, boys, this is a massive pass from me. Hopefully, this did help you guys out. I would say if you've got loose fodder in your club, I probably still wouldn't do it. I'd save it for Icon SBCs. There's new foot birthday SBCs coming out. I would only do this if you are a Leicester fan or maybe you're building a Nigerian team. Um, and he, he just means something to you. Personally, like I said, his work rates aren't great. His 81 balance is not great. His 81 composure is not great. Just for me, boys, he's not worth it. Sorry to break it to you. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, lads.